I think one of the more confusing aspects of Google Docs can be how to share files so that they're the most usable by your group. So I'm going to show you here when you're in a document, if I want to see who this is shared with, if I hover over the share button, I'll see it's shared with two people already. <clears throat> and I can add other people here by their name or their email address. Now, sometimes I don't know what email address they're going to want to use and I don't want to jump through a whole bunch of hoops. So instead, I can click on the advanced button and under the first line in who has access right now it shows that specific people can access which means that only myself and the other people that I've shared with have the ability to access if I click on change I can decide to do public on the web meaning anybody can uh, search for it it'll show up in Google search and it could find it or what I like to do is click on anyone with the link and then I can change what they're able to do. So if I want them to just be able to see the document, I can say, can view. If I want them to be able to see the document and provide comments, but not actually change the document itself, I can say, can comment, or I can click on can edit. And then anyone who I send the link to, once I save this, anyone who I send this link to will be able to edit it without me worrying about which Google account they're using. So this can be really helpful when you're working with your issue team to be able to um, easily share a document, not worry whether someone's using their personal Gmail account or their extension.org account or a Nebraska account, uh, it'll just work.